and weather like this before we join the common market. All the curls gone out of my eyelashes. I know. My French loaf's gone limp. <laughs> you know, I hate the tube in the rush hour. All those grubby little men pressing up against you. Oh, you lucky devil. I couldn't get near one. <laughs> Tender, lean beef, chopped and blended with herbs and spices in a rich, tasty gravy. Ooh, what's that? That muck we had last week. Mm. <laughs> Milk bad. Hey, why have you put a ring round today's date? I didn't, you did. Oh, why have I put a ring round today's date? I don't know. Perhaps it's because Robin's moving in. No, I wouldn't have put a ring round. Oh, is he? Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's 50p there. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that jar of pickle onions. I smashed in there, you know. <laughs> you know the, fact when the, the smell of this thing will go, you know. Sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, no, no, no. no. You, you keep the chance. <laughs> Positive wire to terminal A. Terminal A. Oh. Imagine what it must be like. In fact, I often have. Yeah, we're not having that thing all hours of the night, are we? No, no, I don't actually play it. You know, I just bought it to take along to parties. <laughs> Listen, I'll be back down in a minute for the rest of the stuff. Oh, it's all right, love. Mr. Roper will hump it up for you. Hey! Thank you very much. Not at all. Oh. Well, I'm off to the Mucky Duck. I don't suppose you're coming. But now, look here. No, I thought not. Last time we went out together, it was to empty the pedal bin. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you. you swim? Ah, oh, very good. Listen, I'm sorry I'm a bit late, but I had to pick up, uh, I had to pick up dozens of pickled onions from the back of a taxi cab. Ah, yes, I thought that'd be it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Joe, it's Robin. Hey, have you got your share of next month's rent? Yeah, what? We need it to pay last month's rent. Oh. Well, give him a chance, he's only just arrived. Hey! Matching set of luggage. <laughs> well, here I am, ready to move in. Hey, listen, uh, you two girls, you know, you haven't, uh, you haven't changed your mind, eh? Certainly not. Put it there. Right. Not your hand, the rent. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oi. Here, I'm not a removal man, you know, a skibby. I'm the landlord. I'm not here to fetch and carry for the likes of you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know whether to give him five p or ten. I've given him fifty p. <laughs> Dump your stuff in Eleanor's room. Okay. Well, your room now. Right. Would you like some coffee? Oh yes, please. I must say, I'm looking forward to having a room of my own here. Oh yes, I must say it's a bit smaller than I last remembered. <laughs> you know, I doubt whether I'll be able to stretch my bulwark to its full extent. Oh well, you just have to do your best, won't yeah. you? <laughs> Now, you know where everything is? Yep. Lounge, kitchen, bathroom and out of bounds. What? 
Our bedroom. That's the one with the bunged-up keyhole. We lock the door at night, anyway. Now, Chrissy, you know, I'm surprised at you. I mean, I've given you my word. And I think, under the circumstances, you should show a little bit more trust. Of course, I won't come near your bedroom. Hmm. Sorry. I mean, there's no point if you bunged up the keyhole and the door's locked, is it? <laughs> right. Just hang these up here. Oh. Ah, yes. <laughs> well, you read a lot, don't you? Eh? You read a lot. Indian cooking, French cuisine, continental cookery. Naked be my nympho. Uh, yes. <laughs> that one, that one shouldn't be in there. Why? Which bag do you keep your dirty books in? <laughs> Very good. Uh, that one. Oh. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. Right. <laughs> Hello? I've been crushed to death in the crowd. I'm soaking wet and I haven't bought half my shopping. I don't know how you can bear to live in London. Is that Chrissy? Mother! Oh, I meant to be there earlier, only I got trapped inside a panty girdle, so 34. What? <laughs> but you know what an optimist I am. Anyway, I shall be with you in about a quarter of an hour. Pop the kettle on. Bye. Mother! Hello! Hey, you know that ring on the calendar? I've remembered. Your mother? Twice a year she comes up to town to raid Debenham and Freebody and make sure I haven't married a black man. <laughs> she worries about you. She'll worry even more when she sees him. she think? <laughs> well, can't you tell her the same thing as you told the landlord? Say he's a pup. Well, to her, that's something you put your feet on. <laughs> you know, if he'd just go out for a couple of hours, I wouldn't have to bother explaining. Ah, do I smell coffee? Ah, great. Do you know, you know, I'm really, I'm really settling very nicely. Why don't you go out to the British Museum? What? Oh, don't see, I've just arrived. The British Museum's closed and it's pouring with rain. That's a defeatist attitude. Now you're in London, you should soak up your cultural heritage. Theatres, cinemas, art galleries, classical concerts. Yeah, but Tom and Jerry's on. Only in black and white. Life is out there in colour. Well, is she trying to get rid of me? Oh, you noticed. Listen, I'll take him down the mucky duck for a couple of hours. You, you'll you like it. The beer's flat, but the barmaid isn't. All oh, right. <laughs> uh, listen, Chris, is, is, it, is it my personal freshness? Is that what it is? <laughs> for sure. Oh, come on, I'll explain all the way. <laughs> This, was it something I said, or something I didn't say, or something I should have said? No. Boy, there's still some more of your stuff down here. Oh, oh, that's all right, you know. Don't hurry, you know, when you're not so busy, that'll be fine. Thank you. <laughs> it's just that it would save a lot of explanation, that's all. She doesn't come often. Yeah, I understand. I mean, my own mother doesn't trust me, so I don't see why anyone else should. <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> Hello. Oh, God. Oh. oh, hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Could I have a uh, pint of bitter, uh, tomato juice, and uh, what will you have? It's the right one, the bright one, the most beautiful drink in the world. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and one of them, please. <laughs> uh, talking of one of them, you aren't, are you? <laughs> Sorry? Oh, I see what you... No, 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 no. That was just sort of, you know, Chris's little joke. <laughs> oh, I thought so. <laughs> no, I'm as, I'm as normal as Mr Roper. Oh, don't spoil it, though. <laughs> oh, you needn't worry. There's nothing going on in our flat. Well, there's not a lot going on in ours, dear, and we're married. Thank you very much. Thank you. There we are. Well, cheers, then. Cheers, cheers. cheers. You Actually, you know, I think they're more interested in my cooking rather than my, uh, my, my sex. Yes, he's studying <laughs> it at Technical College. They have classes in it. <laughs> cooking. Oh, oh. Cooking. <laughs> yes. cooking. Oh, the traffic. Oh, and I don't like these London taxis. They all smell of pickled onions. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, dear. Oh, you've had the carpet cleaned. No, it's just the walls have got dirtier. <laughs> How's everything at home? How's Dad? Uh, he's been had up for worrying sheep. He's what? <laughs> well, not him so much as his dog. <laughs> Oh, he's a vicious old thing. Should be put down. Oh, come on. You married him for better or worse. <laughs> Joke. Oh. <laughs> yeah. By the way, he sent you this. Oh. 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 Yes. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with it? I don't 
don't know, dear. He's convinced you can't get them in London. <laughs> well, you know how he worries about you. What we both do, you being up here. It's not that bad. I haven't been mugged for days. No, dear, it's a temptation. <laughs> I mean, you read these wild stories about pop stars and footballers taking all the clothes off. You don't want to believe everything in the parish magazine. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, Mum, I wouldn't know an orgy if I fell over one. They might be at it like knives all over South Ken, but they haven't made it compulsory yet. <laughs> no, dear. <laughs> well, how are those nice girls you share with? Joe and um, Eleanor, isn't it? Um, Joe's fine. Eleanor left to get married. Oh, really? Oh. Have you got another girl for a room? Um, no, we haven't got another girl, no. Then you've got a spare bed. How marvellous. What? Well, I've nowhere near finished my shopping. You can put me up for the night. Enjoyed chatting to you, dear. I think you're going to fit into our little household quite nicely. <laughs> um, are you? Are you? Are you sure I can't tempt you? Not to a drink, no. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I've got to get home and make cocoa for Omar Sharif. Oh. <laughs> bye, bye. bye bye. Bye bye, love. Oh, good night. Look, if your mother's staying, where's he going to spend the night? Well, in the laundrette or the railway station. <laughs> Look, there's an all-night showing of War and Peace at the Asoldo. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, you can come down here and tell him, because I'm not going to. I thought we were friends. This is a recording device. I'm afraid you have the wrong number. Oh! Missy, Eleanor seems to have left her football boots behind. Oh, um, yeah, they were at boyfriends. <laughs> they used to play inside out for Barnet or somewhere. Oh. <laughs> um, Mum, will Dad be expecting you back tonight? Oh, he won't even notice I'm gone till he runs out of clean underpants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I think I'll have an early night. Yeah, I think oh. I'll just pop out for a minute. What, no? Um, yeah, we need some, uh, carrots. Oh, where are you going to get carrots at this time of night? There's a machine on the corner. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, a bit of craftsmanship there. What? Oh, the bell. Tricky little repair job, that. Oh, by the way, when you see that young fella, tell him to take the rest of his gear up himself. OK. Cos I've got more important jobs to do. Right. Ah! Ooh. Oh! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 Forgot my key. Here, love, it's bucketing down there. You'll need this. Oh, tough. There you are. Oh! oh. Five hours I've spent on that. Ah, oh, never mind, George. Here, I'll tell you what. Why don't I run myself a nice bar? Then you can come and scrub my back. <laughs> hey? I'll use the old chestnut bath salts. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I like to, of course. Well, I promise I'll take this lot upstairs. <laughs> don't wait up for me. War and peace, all night showing at the Asaldo. No, 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 you can't, Tim. It's a 1932 version in the original Russian. That is not a plus. No, I'm sorry, I'm going back to the flat. But my mother's in the spare bed. It's not the spare bed, it's my bed. It's my bed. You should have told your mother about Robin in the first place. I know, but I can't tell her now, can I? I shall go back to the flat, get undressed, get into my bed, and if there is anyone else in it, that is their problem. <laughs> no trouble at all. I was making it anyway. Oh, it's very kind. Oh. The wife usually makes me cocoa, but she's in a funny mood tonight. <laughs> Chris has told me about you, Mr. Roper. You're the caretaker, aren't you? Uh, well, uh, no, I wouldn't say caretaker. I'm more of a sort of landlord. But don't the church commissioners own the property? <laughs> ah, yes. But they've appointed me as a sort of um, landlord. Oh. <laughs> or caretaker. <laughs> so you're staying the night, then? Yes, I'm sleeping in the little room. Oh. <laughs> right, there you go. Oh, come on, Chrissy, you're not still sulking, are you? Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. To get you off the hook, I, 
I won't come back to the flat tonight. No, no, I'll just, you know, walk around the wet streets. It may not be raining all night, you know. I can always <laughs> puddle in a shop entrance, covered in newspapers. You know, if the wind blows up, I can always shelter in a dustbin. You've no intention of doing any such thing. Not for a moment. Okay, I've just had a thought. I want my own bed. He can stay in our room. On the other hand, you know, I mustn't be unreasonable. <laughs> Sneak him in, your mother wouldn't even know he was there. Him? In the same room as two incredibly sexy girls. Now, come on, come on, I'd be on my best behaviour. Now, listen, is the, is the bed big enough for three? He thinks it's his birthday. <laughs> there are two single beds, and you won't be sleeping in either of them. You'll be sellotaped to the armchair. <laughs> I say, well, you know, anything's better than four and a half hours of war and peace. She's in bed. Come on. Listen, are you sure she's asleep? <gasps> oh, shh. It's the emotional tension. You know, four pints of drop. <laughs> Sorry. Stop your hanky in your mouth. Just blow my nose in it. Oh, shh. <laughs> Take him through. Actually, yeah, I think I've got them under control now. Yes, you see, all it is, it's a matter of controlling the diaphragm, you see, like so. See? Oh, see. Where do I sit? There. Oh, great, fine. Listen, uh, where do I take my clothes off and hang them? You're not getting undressed. Oh, I thought I wouldn't be. Right. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, come on, you two, you know, you, know, you don't sleep with your clothes on. <laughs> well, you needn't think you're going to sit there while we show you everything we've got. What <laughs> is the alternative? This. <laughs> Chrissy, that's not going to cover very much. <laughs> It'll cover your eyes. <laughs> oh, Chrissy, come on, that's a bit mean, is <laughs> Oh, shh. have gone then. Yeah, I'm too busy using my imagination to hiccup. <laughs> Blanket. Oh, thank you. Right, you can take it off now. Are you sure? You know, I mean, I don't want to catch a glimpse of anything you might not want me to. Oh, no, we're safely in bed. I'm just winding the clock. Oh, good. Actually, no, Joe, that clock is a little bit fast. It's just coming up to uh, <laughs> quarter to eleven. <laughs> You will never know. <laughs> I must say, you know, that's a very, very fascinating place where you've got that, Mo. <sighs> Who? Um, you. Wrong. Actually, I think I better warn you, you know, I have been known to sleepwalk. Yes, and I'd better warn you, I have been known to hit sleepwalkers over the head with a clock. <sighs> we know where we stand? Yes. Fine. Oh, he never gives up, does he? Look, come on, I'm not desperate. I mean, there are other things in life, higher things, more, <coughs> more, more meaningful things. Football! I shall sit here tonight and dream I've just scored at Wembley. Yeah, you might as well, because you're not going to score here. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's the window in the lounge. You forgot to close it. Yeah, I had other things on my mind. I'll do it now. No, I won't. You do it. <laughs> Say, please. Shove off. That's near enough. <laughs> Make yourself beautiful for me. I shall return. <laughs> Be quiet! <laughs> Bumptious, conceited, male chauvinist pig. Mm. He's nice, though. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry, with rain on. Oh, oh, good evening. This is my mother. Oh, how do you do? Uh, I was just passing by the... I was just passing by the balcony and uh, thought I'd knock on, you know, the window to see if the, the two girls wanted to come and see an all-night showing of War and Peace at the... at the Isoldo for four and a half hours. But I can see that they're dressed, you know. So I'll go off by myself and see four and a half hours worth of War and Peace by myself. May I, may I borrow this umbrella? Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry about this. Bye-bye. Not any shoes on. That's Robin for you. Robin? Isn't he the young man that shares the flat with you? What? Oh, Mr. Roper told me about him. I thought he must be away since he let me have his room. You don't mind? Oh, no, dear. People are doing it all over the place. <laughs> I shan't worry about you now you've got a man about the house. 